Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video. So in this video, you can see installing Kali Linux and Windows on same hard drive, meaning a dual boot. So download the Kali Linux ISO and Win32 disk image and place it on your desktop. So now connect to a pen drive and uh, format it as a FRAD32. Once the pen drive is formatted, now you have to open the Win32 disk image. Now you have to allocate for the uh, Linux ISO. Select the ISO image and click open. Now click on a write on your uh, Win32 disk imager to start a writing on your pen drive. So this process will gonna be a take uh, some time. So I'm gonna be fast forwarding for you. Once it's done, right click on a start button and choose run. Here type cmd. Once the command prompt is open, you have to type a disk mgmt, which stands for a disk management. When you see this dialog, we need to create a partition in order to install the Kali Linux. So I'm going to be use a C drive to shrink volume. I recommend you to uh, locate a space at least at 40 GB or higher. So in this case, I'm going to be use a 200 GB and click on shrink. Now you can see an unallocated at 200 GB partition which is where we're going to install the Kali Linux on it. Now restart your computer. Make sure we have connected your bootable drive. Now when the computer is turned on, it will directly boot into a Kali Linux setup. When you see this setup, Scroll down to the bottom and choose Graphical Install and press Enter. Now you can see a call the Linux welcome screen. Choose your language, location, and your keyboard language. When you see this page, you have to choose your host name. In this case, I'm going to type Linux. Click continue. Now discard this step and click on continue again. Now you have to set up a root password. Since the username is a root, you have to set a password for that. Then click continue. Now it will be taken to the uh, partition page. Now choose manual. Click on continue and there you can see the free space that we allocated in a windows. Click on free space and click continue. Now we have to create a partition. First we're going to create a slash boot partition where we can install the bootloader for Kali Linux. I recommend you to create a 1 or 2 GB. I'm going to use a 2 GB. Click on continue. Choose a logical and at the beginning and continue. So now at the mount point you have to double click it and choose a slash boot and click continue. Now click on the done setting up the partition and click continue. Now you can see the slash boot is added. So make sure you have to remember the uh, partition numbers in this case is 5. Now click on a free space again and click on continue to create a slash partition. Now I recommend you to create at least a 15 GB or higher for slash partition. In this case, I'm going to use a 80 GB. 
click continue now choose logical and choose beginning click continue so now at the mount point make sure you have to leave it as a slash and done setting of the partition continue now you can see the slash partition is added and with 80 gigabytes of free space now you can click on the gain the free space to create a slash home partition I recommend you to create at least a 20 GB or higher for slash home partition which is where we're going to be working through. Now click logical, beginning and continue. Now as you can see the mount point is automatically detected as slash home and click on done setting of the partition and continue. Now you have see you can see the three partition is successfully created. So final partition need to create as a swap area. Click on free space and create new partition and use a 2 GB or higher for swap area. Choose logical, beginning and continue. Now double click on the use as and you can click on the swap area and choose continue. Now done setting up the partition and click on again continue. That's it, we have created the four partition and we have to go and install the Kali Linux. Make sure you have to remember the slash boot a partition number. In this case, it's a fifth number. Now click on the finish partitionizing and write changes to disk and click continue. Now choose S to write the partition changes. Now you can see the partition 5 uh, is a boot partition. So click on S and click continue. Now the system will going to be install the Linux on your hard drive and it will going to be take uh, some time and I'm going to be back with you. Once you see this page, you have to discard it as clicking the no and just continue. Now you're going to see the uh, drive bootloader page. Since we are using a master bootloader card, we don't need longer to install the grub bootloader. Choose no. And click continue. So choose enter device manually. So you have to uh, type uh, the partition number, in this case it's slash there slash sda5, so which is a boot partition and click on continue. Now the grub loader will going to be installed into the slash boot partition and it will going to be take uh, some time so it will also going to be finish the installation process. And once you see this message, make sure you have to take out your USB drive. Now click on continue and the system will going to be reboot to back to the windows. Once your system is booted back to the windows, download and install a easy BSD on your computer. The links are in the description. Now open the EasyBSD by double clicking it. Now you can see the by clicking the edit menu, you can see Windows 10 is only added to the bootable list. So now choose add new entry, choose Linux slash BSD and choose a type as a grub2. I'm gonna be give it as a Kali Linux. Choose a drive as automatically locates and boot and click on add entry. This will going to be create an entry in the master boot record so that the master boot record can find the Kali Linux and going to be able to boot. Now click on save settings and close it. Now restart your computer. Now you can see the uh, two options, you can either boot into a Windows 10 or Kali Linux. Now I'm going to choose a Kali Linux to boot directly into it.
When you see the login screen, choose username as a root. Click next. And type your password. Now you have successfully installed a Call of Duty on your computer. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe for more videos like this. Bye bye.